Let's just deal with that worry, that spirit of worry for a minute. Father, we cast all our fear off. All of our worry, all, all of our questions, we cast off of us. And thank you for filling us with faith and faithfulness and expectation. And Lord, the confidence, the spirit of confidence to fill us that we know. That we know, that we know, that we know, that we know by faith that you are more than enough. Hallelujah. You're not just enough. You're way more than enough. So all fear and worry is gone. Get out now. Go now. Go away from me now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, look, do this with me. Take your Bible and say this with me. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. And today, I will hear what the Word of God says. It's a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The just shall live by faith. And faith comes by hearing the Word of God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. So that's what it's about. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Remain standing for one more moment. Let me just go over some things I am believing God for. You can believe with me, those of you online and here on site for sure. Number one, I'm believing God to, to make some draft choices of some men, more and more men. I, I, I want to overrun the church with men. And then number two, I want men and women to, uh, that are not engaged. I need your help with LifeWise. I need your help with Helps Ministry. I need your help with God's Hand. Uh, I need your help with Back to School Blast. Somebody said, we just had it. I know it, but there's another one coming. All right. And so uh, more men and, and helpers in the ministry. That's what I'm calling for. I'm not hurting in that area. We got some awesome men. But uh, the Lord's going to put a little more on us to carry and to do in this city and in this state and in this country. And uh, I want to make sure we have the, the, not just the manpower, but the horsepower to, to, to power on through. So stand in agreement with me on that in the name of Jesus. And you'll watch this happen. You'll watch God Honor those words and bring it to pass in this place. I also need some decent husbands. I need some men of God that can, that, that can, that, that can answer the bell. Not just men. You can get a man anywhere, but I, God, men of God is what I'm pushing for and what I'm working on. The Lord is going to help us with that in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, look, let's get going. May the Lord just be with us greatly tonight. <clears throat> I invite you to turn with me to two openings. I want to hit Psalm 103, the 103rd Psalm, and then also, with the Lord's help tonight, Colossians chapter 3, verse 17 and 23. I want to deal with you tonight, and may the Holy Spirit deal with me and deal with us about this, this subject, a money cometh demonstrator's emotion is a seed enhancer. I, I, I want you to, to, as we study about seed sowing and being a steward, um, it is by faith and it is by the Spirit but I want to show you how to use your emotion in your sowing. Now, it sounds counterintuitive. It sounds, well, I, I thought we're in the spirit, so, so we're not supposed to. But God gave you emotions. All right? All right. Okay. I, I see you, 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 you're trying to jump me in the alley of revelation. But I'm going I'm, I'm to swing back. God loves a cheerful giver. So he doesn't want people just giving blindly and emptily. He wants, he wants your emotions in it. But I will show you tonight where to put your emotion until it's time to bring it into the sowing action. Are you with me? 
All right, so let's look first at uh, Psalm 103 and verse 17. Again, you can be seated. Uh, a, a money cometh demonstrator's emotion is a seed enhancer. Um, Apostle t spoke uh, on Sunday about not sowing like a coward or not sowing uh, fearfully. There it is again. There's another emotion. There's a negative emotion. He says, so bountifully, not sparingly. There's two emotions. So your emotion is important in sowing. It's just not the most important thing. And so sometimes what we do is we just want to, I just want to get in the spirit and do what I'm supposed to do, and we leave out this part, but your emotion is part of it. But I, but I want to put emotion where it belongs and, and let it enhance, let it be an enhancer or an intensifier. That's another way. My emotion intensifies my seed. All right, I, 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 I'll show it to you because I know it sounds like, well, that, doesn't, that doesn't sound like what, I, what I'm expecting to hear. But you're going to see it very, very good. All right, um, Psalm 103, and I'd love it if you looked at verse, uh, verses 1, 2, and 3. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Now, you think of soul, you think of your mind, your will, your intellect, your emotions, your desires, that passion part of you that no one else can duplicate, your emotions. Is it mind, will, and emotion? That's the soul. My, say it with me. Mind, will, and emotions. And we'll add some other things, imagination and memory and things like that. But I, I want to focus on mind, will, and emotions. Bless the Lord, all my emotions. Now, your emotion is not the main part of you, but it should be there. When we're worshiping God, your emotion should be there. When I'm praising the Lord, my emotion should, because otherwise, how are you going to praise the Lord? Oh, there's supposed to be some emotion in there. Just not only emotion. Oh, help me tonight, Holy Spirit, help me. Not emotion by itself. It is revelation in place, intensified by emotion. Why should I worry about the highs and the lows, the ups and the downs? For by my faith, I know God's more than enough. So there, all of a sudden, it's a big problem, but I, I know God can. I know. See, you can't say, well, I know the Lord will handle No, no, you got to. Oh, I know the Lord can handle this. The Lord got this. It don't look good. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't sound good. It does not even smell good. But my, by faith, I know my God. Oh, my goodness. Have you seen the stuff he's brought me through already? You seen the things he's brought me out of already? Have you seen what he did when I didn't even pray? Then I can see what he did when I did pray. Then I can see what he did when others prayed. Then I can see what he did when Jesus prayed. Now me, others, Jesus, everybody's praying. I can't go down. You can't say that with like, I just can't go down. No, that has got to have some grumble in there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. All that is within me, my spirit, but my emotion. Bless his holy name. What in the name of a bent trombone does it look like when my emotions are blessing the Lord? Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. All my emotions, and forget not all his benefits. Hallelujah. You mean to tell me you hear all the benefits that the Lord has lined up for you, and you don't get emotional about it? You get emotional about some boyfriend or girlfriend. 
I hear Whitney Houston right now. I get so emotional, baby. Every time I think of you, I get so emotional. They're not even a real relationship, not even a real love, just some, some, some made up thing. And you get emotional about it. And then here is the maker of the universe, the creator of the whole universe that wants to come and commune with you, be with you, do something about your health, do something about your wealth, do something about your marriage, do something about your children, do something about your house, and all you can muster is, well, hallelujah. You stink, man. You flat out stink. All right. You see that? Bless the Lord, all my soul. All all that's within me. So when I praise the Lord, I'm bringing all of it. And I'm dumping it all out on the table. I'm holding nothing back. When I'm worshiping the Lord, I'm bringing everything. When I'm thanking the Lord, I'm bringing everything. When I'm sowing, I'm bringing everything. I'm so excited. I'm so ready to sow. I'm so motivated to bring a seed. S-H-E-E-D, seed. I have a meeting tomorrow. Tomorrow. In fact, uh, yeah, at, at headquarters. I, 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 I made myself get excited. I have other things to do. But man, I want to get to that meeting. And one of the main things I want to do is cross the state line into Louisiana, let, let that plane touch down, drive my car over to Ascension Parish, up Highway 30 to Highway 44, then a right on Highway 22, get into that worship service and drop my bird and turn around and come back home. Drop my ordinance and then head on home. That's what I want. God loves a cheerful giver. That's emotion. God loves a bountiful giver. That's emotion. God loves an expecting giver. Expect it. That's emotion. All right. Let's look at uh, Colossians. Then, then we'll get into some, some, some better principles, some higher principles. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. And whatsoever you do in word or deed... I should, could, could say, whatsoever you do in word or seed, <laughs> but whatever you, whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father, to God and the Father by him. Verse 23, and whatsoever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men. That means my giving, when I sow a seed, I have got to be like, oh, it's about to be all. This could be the seed to hit. In fact, they all could hit. Hallelujah. I, 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 what of all the seeds you've ever sown all get stirred up by the next seed you sow? What, what if that was the case? Some of you Christians, y'all, y'all, y'all have no joy. Joy is an emotion. It's born in the spirit, but it's an emotion because I can see it. I receive your seed. We like a football team that is like had never won a game, and then the the coach. You say you won't win now, and you just you, but but your memory is just so stank. You're like, I, 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 okay, hallelujah, that's not. But you don't, want, you don't want to give it up because you don't want to be disappointed. But you're not going to be disappointed by the Lord. I assure you, you're not, you're not going to be disappointed by the Lord. Lord, help me. All right. So here's what you do. Remove emotion. When it's time to sow, when it is time to tithe, when it is time to give, remove your emotion. Because sadness will be there, fear will present itself, lack and insufficiency will show up. Remove emotion from the situation. 
after you remove emotion, then gain revelation and seek understanding. Then make a decision to obey what you just received. Now, once you've decided, I'm going to obey God with my tithe, I'm going to obey God with my seed, I'm going to obey God with this sowing, now put your emotion into it. See? And you're like, man, where's the thing at? Where's the bucket? Where, where's the bucket? Minister Clay, that got me last week. We had the men, not the men's, the uh, family event. And... Uh, uh, y'all sold like you like you're out like you had lost your mind, and then I, I I had remembered, but she was like offering, offering, offering. Somebody that is a sower wants to get. Don't cheat me. Amen. Where that, I know them, those white buckets are somewhere. Go get one. Amen. I know they're in here. I, I saw them on Sunday. I know they're here. Go get them. A, a sower is hungry to sow. Thirsty to sow. I want to sow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring a chair. Bring a chair. Bring a chair. I want you to meet, I want you to meet my one of my best friends. I want you to meet Bucket. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> money coming. I want you to see, but this is a friend. This, this, this is my friend. When I, when, I, when I see this, I know it's time. It's time. It's my time. It's my time to increase. Now, it, 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 looks, like, it looks like my net worth is going down. But when my, when my net worth is in here, a new worth is coming on the other side. Are you willing to trade your net worth for a new worth? My book. I ought to get one and send one, send one home with everybody. You, all, you wake up in the morning, you see a bucket. You're like, ah, oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. All right. Okay. Put him right there. Let him stand there. All right. Remove emotion. Seek revelation and understanding, then make a decision to obey, then with emotion. All right? Now, understand, I, I'm not trying, I, I didn't do that as a prop to get you to do something. That, that you have to hear from God for yourself. That, that was just an illustration I was given. You don't have to do anything, but you may, but you don't have to. Now, listen. Here, l listen to some emotions that are often traveling with giving or sowing. Cheerfulness, grudgingly, bountiful, sparingly, expectant, sadness, Anger, that, that's back to Genesis, where uh, Cain slew Abel in the scripture, scripture, but before he killed him, before he killed his brother, before he killed his brother, he, he, uh, God asked him, why are you wroth? Why are you upset? Because he gave, but, and his brother gave, and God had respect to his brother's offering, because his brother came with a different emotion. I'm trying to help you tonight. Greed. When it comes time to give, greed can show up. Doubt can show up. So let, let me give you some other things to, to work on. Refuse to compare yourself with others. If you're going to be a a money cometh demonstrator and a sower on, 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 on an increasingly uh, increasing level, you must not compare yourself with other people. The next person had a different cue of choices and decisions than you did. That's why it looks like they're ahead of you. 
I don't compare myself to the other MVB. They're all on their path where they should be. And if they're not where they should be, that's their business. My business is, am I doing what I need to be doing where I am? So therefore, there's no small seed and no big seed. There's no big offering, no little offering. It's I, 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 I'm, I am conscious of being where I'm supposed to be in my seed life. Now, I got to sow. I must continue to sow, and I must increase my seed. You can't stay at the same place. You're always increasing. I guarantee you want the harvest to increase. You, you know, you're, not, you're not begrudging about that. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, the, the atmosphere we're in is rife. Do you like that? Rife with financial disaster. But at the same time, in the middle of the promise of famine and the onset of famine, God is looking for who he can bless, and give them a hundredfold return and bless them. I mean, if you just gave me a hundredfold return, I'm, I'm happy with that. But he, Lord, give you a hundredfold return and say, hey, come back. I'm not done yet. I, I still want to bless you. Stop comparing yourself with other people, other pastors, other churches, other believers, other businessmen. Everybody's at a different point. One of the things I love about aviation and um, uh, when I go to a, 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 a visiting, a visiting a city and the airport, uh, the hotel is is near the airport. I love look at dusk, you know, like six or seven. Well, it depends on what time it is what, of the year. But when it's dusk and you can look out and you, you can see it at night too, and you just see airplanes for miles. It's separated by by three miles. It's, here's an airplane coming and getting ready to land, and then you can look back and there's another airplane separated by a certain distance. Then another, you can see sometime at a large airport like Dallas, Fort Worth, like. Dallas, Fort Worth, or LAX, or whatever. You can just see just a line of 10 airplanes lined up, coming in for a landing. Everybody on those flights is doing the same thing. The flight attendants are having everybody shut down their computers and, and open their window shades and, and get their seatbelts on. Everybody's doing the same thing, putting the service card away. Every plane is doing the same thing, but they don't land at the same time because they took off at different times. They're on a different schedule. So I want you to know you're going to reap your fruit in your season, but not somebody else's season. So therefore, you don't compare with where somebody else is. Because when you start comparing, then you start feeling like my seed is not working. But they're on a different landing pattern. So you got to pay attention to your pattern. This, am I sowing how I'm supposed to sow? You're preaching hard, past. It's Apostle's fault. It's Apostle Thompson's fault. Don't compare yourself with others. Somebody always will be ahead of you or look like they're ahead of you. Someone always will look like they're behind you. All you can do is focus on where you're supposed to be. Number two, refuse contrasting yourself with yourself. Well, if I had just done this, that's regret. Well, I should have I done this differently. Do you you got to get rid of the shoulds. If you, everything in your life is should, 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 you're going to live a shouldy life. Your life is going to be full of should. Don't live a shouldy life. Wipe the should off. I should have dealt with this differently. I, I, I should have took that other job. I, 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 should, I shouldn't have, have refinanced my home. 
I shouldn't have, all kinds of mistakes. I've refinanced one of my homes one time. Uh, it was a horrible mistake. And the man, the, the, the mortgage, he was like, oh, yeah, this will be good for you. This will work for you. This is a great deal. I listened to, with my dumb self, listened to him, got myself in a worse situation than I couldn't find him after that with his broke self. That's why he's called a broker. <laughs> why? I, 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 I should have ignored him. Well, it, it, uh, Lord, I repent and then go on. But you cannot continue living your life where should, 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 should. Should is nasty. <laughs> should is nasty. I'm glad I'm not a cusser because the actual word could slip out. And you, you keep talking like that. Talking about a shitty life. <laughs> My wife is down here. She's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> says, move on, Pastor, move on. <laughs> Are you saying I should move on? <laughs> you should speak a little louder. <laughs> All right. Regret is unprophetic. When you get regretful, I should have done this, I didn't do this, I messed up, and you just can't get out of it, you, you are undoing the prophetic side of your relationship with Jesus. So you messed up, Lord, I messed up, that was a mistake, I repent, I should be further along. I'm supposed to retire next year, and I'll have nothing. Just repent, admit it, repent, and then go on and say, okay, no, now what? What do I need to sow? Yeah. Yes, because the Lord will catch you up. You, you, you might should have a million dollars saved up, and you got one dollar, and then but if you sow the way God is telling you to sow, he'll make up that difference. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Christians are about. That's what money come of demonstrators are doing. They, they, they're putting on makeup. They're making up for the moments they lost. Making up. For, that's what seed does. It, you're making up for mistakes. You're making up for fumbles. You're making up for time I should have done something different. Making up for even when I should have sold and didn't. I'm making up. The Lord is helping me make up all those moments. I believe I'm going to go get me a nice acai bowl after this. I'm going to get some peanut butter and some honey on it. I'm going to treat myself good. This is some good preaching tonight. Now, you can act like it's not, but I'm just telling you right now. It's not me. It's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is here. Jesus is here. Apostle Thompson's here, too. <laughs> Don't contrast yourself with where you should be. Look at where you are. And by your seed, start believing for where you will be. Yes. Somebody in here, you're going to catch up. Yes. You're, you're, you're behind. They, they talk about retirement. You don't want to run out of money. There's no way in the world. Um, um, they talk about if your retirement's not set right and your, your stocks and bond and mutual funds not set up right, 401K is not set up right, you're going you're gonna to run out of money. A, a money come of demonstrator cannot run out of money. Someone who is a sower can never run out. Even if you don't, even if you stop working. Amen. God will just send a bird or a dog or some kind of, some kind of animal with a bag in his mouth with the money in the bag. A sower can never be shut down. Never. All right. How many of you, to be honest, you can trash, you're like, man, I'm 40-something, I'm messed up. What am I doing here in my 50s and don't have this, don't have that? My car's not even paid off yet. What's wrong with me? Everybody else around me is getting it. Stop comparing yourself to others and contrasting yourself against yourself. 
Because then you, when you compare and contrast, what you're doing is you're convincing yourself that what sowing you are doing is not working. That whittles down, whittles away your expectation and your cheerfulness. Because then you're going to sow, you're like, yeah, it ain't really going to work, but I, I'll go ahead. That, you, it, that's not going to work. You sow with energy and with cheerfulness and with your full bank of emotions. Like, oh, it's about to go. Like tomorrow, I'm rolling up. I, I, don't even, I, I haven't even heard what my seed is yet. But I know when I get there, I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, okay. I'm not the Holy Spirit going to give me a time to get up uh, aside from the offering and I'll be able to drop a seed. Amen. That's my whole mindset for tomorrow is get to Darrow, drop off my ordinance. <sighs> Planes, when they bomb, they come over, boom, they drop a bomb, and they peel back. That's all I'm doing. Dropping my seed, peeling off, going back to Ohio. But I, 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 I won't. I, mm, 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 and I, mm, 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 mm. I won't leave that money coming to meeting like I came. Not bound or broke or sick or lame. For the Holy Ghost of Acts is still the same. I won't leave that money coming to meeting like I came. It'd be nice to see some of y'all there. You can come. Come with me. There's only two reasons. You wouldn't. Work and money. Somebody says it's just money. That's good and y'all have graduated. But I'm going to put an end to all of it. As a Monday Cup meeting boss, I need to get down there. If you leave, don't come back. You're fired. Okay, see ya. You got to have an attitude. You got to have some energy. You got to have some move. You got to have some flex to live this way. A sower, money coming demonstrator, and a sower has energy. I know God got this. I know God has me. I don't need help. All I need is Jesus in the seed. All right, be seated. Let me see if I can get through some more. Let me give you this. You have to choose between labor or favor. Remember Deuteronomy 8.18, 8.17 and 18, Deuteronomy 8.17 and 18, and the Lord said, forget the, don't forget this, children, for it is the Lord your God that giveth you the ability to get wealth, power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant. I don't want you saying the work of your hand did it. That's labor. Labor is you working 40 hours a week. Favor is you tithing and sowing. You know labor, labor is only going to get you so far. But the scripture says the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow or labor to it. Labor or favor. The system or the spirit, I'm going to give you some, some contradictions that you have to choose between. Man's government or God's kingdom. I mean, ultimately, mutual funds which is a composite of stocks and bonds, but mutual funds, stocks and bonds, annuities, 401k, which is, if you look at that, it's just pulling a whole bunch of funds together. It's all, the whole stock market is built on emotions. That's what I'm saying. Finances, have, you have to bring your emotions with you. But if fear comes, nothing bad happened, but if, if, the buy, if, if the investors tomorrow feel bad or feel shaky about something, Stock market goes down. You can't, you can't plan your life on that. Not as a Christian. You shouldn't. 
covetous or covenant? Name something you could desire. A car, RV, a plane, a house. Just name something. A what? A yacht. All right? A yacht. You can desire a yacht with covetousness. You can pursue the same yacht with covenant. It's just one of them is based on your labor. The other is based on God's favor. Well, I don't want a yacht. Well, don't get one. You know what says? You had to have one. These are just examples. Somebody uh, was upset, I think, about the RVs during the camp meeting. But just, but just don't get one. I told you you had to get one. This is an example. That you can go somewhere you've been told you can't go. You can do something you've been told you cannot do. But it's the seed that does it. It's the seed that does it. It's the seed that does it. All right, let me give you a couple of more. Confession or declaration? Confession is just agreeing with the word. Declaring is demanding. It's a demand being made. So confession is good, but not by itself. You have to eventually graduate to declaration. I declare I'll never be broke another day in my life. That can't just be a confession. Money come, money coming. It cannot just be a confession. It must be a demand being made. Man, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being nicer to y'all than you being to me tonight. I'm not playing. They keep messing around, man. I'm coming down there on that front row and then spit right in your lap. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not going to spit on you. I'm not going to spit on you. But the front row knows. You know, they, 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 my wife, she's like, I got her once here and then once over here, the same service. <laughs> All right. You have to make that determination. Yes, sir. What system you're on. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Deck. Seed, a salary or Seed. My life is being pushed by salary or by seeds. One of the main reasons many Christians hate their job because the job won't push the lifestyle they know they should be living. It, but no job can. No salary can. See, if you're not going to be a steward and not tithe and sow, then, yeah, your whole expectation is I, I, need my, I need my salary to provide for everything. It can't. It can't. I, Lord, help me, Jesus, please. Help right here, right now, help me. You know where the Lord wants you and I to get? You know where he wants us to arrive? Where what your salary is, is the seed that you sow. Because there's no way you're going down. If, you're, if your salary is was 110, all right, it's 110. What if that was, the, that, was your, that was your giving for the year? Then you couldn't give it all away. I mean, you'd have to have, to have more. The Lord brought more in. For you to give away 110, you got paid 110 and you're still living like 510. Well, the seed would do that. Your stewardship would do it. Now, it's counterintuitive to living in this world. If you're going to just base on this world, you're not going to see it. I see it. I see it. I, stuff comes in, I don't even deposit a check. I'm like, talk to me, Holy Spirit. What are we doing with this? What am I doing? I'm taking emotion out of that $1,000 check. I'm taking emotion out of it. And I'm like, what do you want to do with it? Show me something. I dare, show me. Give me some instructions. Yeah. Then when he gives me instructions, then the emotion I set aside, I bring it back in. I'm like, all right, where they at? Man, I get so excited when it's time to give. Church, apostle, housekeeper at the hotel. 
Man, I was so excited. Where was I last week? I was, I, I, I was in Louisiana. I went looking for the, the housekeeper. I saw the cart was out there in the hallway. I'm checking out. The cart is sitting there, and the hotels are so doggone frat and cheap, they don't leave any more tablets with a pad and a piece of paper. You can't, because I like to leave a note and say, Jesus loves you and is making a way for you. Then I put a $20 bill there for one night. But the hotel's so cheap, they don't even have that anymore. So now I got to do it hands-on because I don't want to just leave a 20. And then the person like, well, what does this mean? I want them to know it was Jesus. So now I got to go find the person. But I'm up and down that hall. I said, where is it at? Where are you at? I see your cart. Where are you at? I'm looking. I'm looking. I look in the room. I'm like, hey, are you cleaning 419? No, it's somebody else. I got to go find the room. Who's doing 419? Because they're about to get blessed. Now, I got to go back tomorrow. They're probably going to be looking at me like, oh, I'm alive. Whatever room he says, I'm doing it. <laughs> but I was excited. I want to get to that housekeeper, drop my ordinance, and do what? Peel off. I only have a few more moments. Prosperous, I get write these four words down. Prosperous, wealthy, abundant, and rich. By revelation. Not just confession, but declaration. All right, John, James 1.22 and James 2.20 through 22 says that faith without works is dead. So your faith for finances has to have works. That means hearing and it means doing. In the area of finances, that's hearing and then it is sowing. I'm determined I'm going to get all this out to you tonight because when I go tomorrow, then I need my bucket of revelation empty so I can fill it up and then come back. I am flourishing right now. Say it. I am flourishing. My business is flourishing. Anybody, anybody here in business? Stand up. If, you're in, if you own a business, you run a business, uh, anybody else work on commission, and you stand up. In the name of Jesus, I command the work of your hands, as apostle would say, to come off the hook. literally off the meat rack. And may your seed beat the head of debt like a brake drum. Psalm 92, 13. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. You're in the house of God and you're in the courts of God. You're planted and you're flourishing. It's the same thing that's going to happen to what you sow. It's going to be planted and it's going to flourish. All right. Get ready to write. It'll be tomorrow or, or midday Thursday before you realize what really happened to you tonight. I'm just telling you. The secret of kingdom success is sowing. You get that? The secret of kingdom success is sowing. The mystery of the kingdom is sowing. It's the seed. And that's why the people around you are not going to understand what happened. They, they, wait, wait, wait a minute. One man asked Apostle Thompson, they were at a, a resort area, and he saw his, how he was dressed and saw his, his motor coach and he said, well, okay, I have, that, that's what I have. What, what do you do? And so, because the man knows he does stocks and bonds or whatever. He's like, well, what do you do? Apostle said, I sow. And so he said, huh? <laughs> he said, huh, what? He, 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 he said, no, 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 no. I mean, what, what do you do to get this? What did you do to get here? He said, I sow seed. Huh, what? 
Is it, wait, wait, wait what, what are you saying? He said, I sow. He said, no, 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 you don't understand what I'm asking you. No, he didn't understand what he was asking. Because people who are not connected to Jesus are not going to understand. It's the secret and mystery of the kingdom of God. So if you're not acclimated to the kingdom of God, it will not make any sense to you. As a matter of fact, there's some people in church that don't get it. Might be somebody here tonight. But I cast that line devil off you in the name of Jesus. May you see the truth. That sounds like Brother Hagin right there. Hallelujah. <laughs> I, want, I, 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 want, I want to vividize this to you. I, I want you to visualize it and see it. All right, let me give you some terms. Financial inversion. Release. Walk in the word. Reservoirs of the world to be tapped and drained. Blessing. Boy, I got to move along. Directed by the Spirit. Do everything you're called to do. No conflict. Now, I, I want to give you this. This came in another format, but these two words match seed sowing. Consolidation and accommodation. There'll be no conflict in the call to sow. When God calls you to sow, it will not undo the rest of your life. In fact, it's building up the rest of your life. All right, see, the devil wants it to be a conflict. Conflict. But there is no conflict. It's consolidation and accommodation. They, the seed works together. Because, because God the Father is involved. All right, I'm almost finished now. The purse of a non-sower always has holes in it. Now, I know you've seen that. If you want to make a salary and pay your mortgage and pay your little house note, your little car note, and you're like, I'm doing good, and like, but I'm not getting ahead. It's because the sowing is not moving forward or you are sowing but not increasing your sowing. Remember I told you this. Sow, keep sowing, increase your sowing. See, those three are important. I'm going to go over this. I need about three more minutes. Revolu revelation, experience, and manifestation. Re revelation is I see it. Experience is saying I did it. Manifestation says I got it. You see that? Revelation says, I see it. Experience says, I did it. Manifestation says, I got it. Financially free. I call you to be financially free in here. I call you to be debt free in here. Step by step. Brick by brick. Day by day. Pimp to pimp and player to player. I call you blessed. I know you. Y'all can't handle me tonight. I've been infected with apostolitis. <laughs> I, got, I got a case of apostolitis. Because this has to manifest. It has to take place. Debt freedom. Mortgage is gone. Either method, either, either by methodology or by miracle. Got to go. They got to go. They got to go. Your car note, got to go. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm calling for desperate, not desperate. I'm calling for drastic measures. House notes. Not, not the monthly payment. That, that, that ought to be self-sufficient. That ought to be obvious, self-evident. I'm talking about the whole thing gone. But it's got to be a seed to make it happen. Salary can't do it. Salary will never pay a house off. But seed can. Money cometh is stronger than any financial condition you're dealing with. The, the revel, the revel, 
Faith Stadium TV, would you pull up? Do you have, do you have uh, the testimony of money cometh from apostle? I know you had it one time before. I'll do it Sunday if they don't have it tonight. All right, let me give you these last ones. Successful sowers sow with confidence. Successful sowers refuse not to sow. Successful sowers refuse to sow like a coward, like a punk. Do not sow without the counsel of the Holy Spirit. Do not sow under the fear of bills. Forget these bills. Don't sow like money is your master. Depart from it. Depart. Get out. Sow with your heart. And I've been talking about that all night. Sow with your emotion. You see the emotion I was able to, to bring to the moment. I wasn't faking tonight. I was not faking. It's the true emotion, man. But I got revelation first, then I add my emotion into it. Otherwise, you're just a sounding brass and a tingling cymbal. Money coming. That ain't going to get you nothing. That thing got to reverberate down on the inside of you, man. Money coming. I mean, you, it's got to come from here. It can't, me and money coming. Look what happened. I almost finished. There are redemptive forces in the seed to make up for lost time. Based on your lifestyle, you, they say you should have a million, one, a million and one hundred thousand dollars for retirement. Many of us are woefully short, but the seed has something to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you just set aside a certain amount starting at the age of 18, you'd be a multimillionaire by the time you're 60. Yeah, but when you learn that at age 58, it's a little late in the game. But the seed, the seed is a whirlwind. The, the seed has a swishing effect. God gave me to write the right to live in financial dominion on his behalf. Now, that, 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 that's really good. Um, glory to God. Get, stand up, would you? Uh, are you willing to stand up and give me some sound bites? I know you got, I, 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 I see my notes. All right, Ecclesiastes 11, 6, Zechariah 8, 12, 2 Corinthians 6, 7, and 8. I did not go there, but I want you to look at those. I did give you Psalm, I mean, Psalm 103, verse 1 through 3, and Colossians 3, 17 and 23. Also, 1 Timothy 6 and 17, Deuteronomy 8, 18, Mark 4, 8 through 9, and 1 Corinthians 2 through 2, 9. All right. I feel, to, I feel capital tonight. I just, just capital. Financially capital. I don't care what bills are lying out there. I don't care what tax bill, what, what a credit card. I, I don't care. And the seed doesn't care either. You know what? Here, here's what I see. You line up all your problems. Tell financial lack to bring all the champions into the kitchen. Put them on the table. And you know what your seed's going to say? <laughs> your seed don't, does not care. Your seed has been waiting for this moment. Amen. Now, energy, I'm going to say this, then we have our sound bites. Energy and emotion has to be there because then that, that's intensifying that seed. See, you're not just doing it out of rote. You're doing it, you're doing it out of revelation. See, so your emotion is important. You can't get married talking, I love you, and you have no emotion at all. Well, yes, I love you. That, you, you, you ain't nothing. You don't, even know how to, you don't even know how to romance a woman. You're pitiful. It's a ran rap. I can see right through it. It's weak. No, I love you has some emotion in it. 
Now, it has spirit first. And revelate, because love is a spirit. But it, it, emotion follows. How many of y'all can see what I'm saying by that? All right, let's get our sound bites. Do they have that clip for me? They look, ah. All right, okay, yes, sir. I heard you say, my salary is my seed. Your salary is your seed. Your sal see, and if you don't want to do the whole, the whole year, then just look at what you get paid every two weeks. Say, that's, that's going to become the amount I'm sowing every two weeks. I'm bringing in, I'm bringing in 2,200 every two weeks, so that's going to be my seed. But see, your mind, if you're not saved and born again, you're like, well, if I make 2200 I give away 2200 I'm at zero. You don't understand the mystery and the power of the seed. That's why I'm, that's, that's why I'm hitting, it, hitting you this way so you can see what the Lord is saying to you. Yes. Pastor, I heard you say. Yeah, you said a lot. I did All say I a lot. All I need is the seed. Say Jesus. that again. All I need is Jesus and the seed. All I need is Jesus and the seed. Jesus to say and the seed to sow. Amen. Jesus to tell me what to sow and then I'll sow it. Yes. Pastor, I heard you say my seed makes up for what I didn't do or the mistakes I made. How many of you be, okay, thank you, Deacon Braxton. How many of you be honest? Man, for where I should be or where I could be, or where I would be. I'm not going to live a shitty life, all right? Where, but where, where I would be, man, I'm so far behind. The seed makes up for all of that. But you got to have the revelation, all right? Next row right, right here, young lady right there. Pastor, I heard you say, my emotion intensify my seed. My emotion intensifies my seed. I'm not fearful. I'm not begrudging. I'm not sparing. So the emotion, what emotion, what's the opposite of sparing? Sparingly, bountifully. What's the, the opposite of grudgingly? Cheerfully, Cheerfully willing, all right? So I, I, I am bringing emotion to the sowing moment. Just I have revelation first. Now, listen to Apostle on Sundays and Wednesdays. Listen to me on Tuesdays. And Sundays I'm teach, I have to teach something different because the Lord has me going somewhere else, but uh, not somewhere else, but somewhere specific. But on Tuesday, Kingdom College, this is where I'm, this is where I'm hitting it. Yes, Get this revelation and listen to it again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Yes, All right, yes. Ah, hi. Say this with me. Look at somebody. I'm getting paper. I'm getting paper. I know, I know they use that phrase in the, in the world, but I, I'm not talking about the world. I'm talking about cash. And I don't care how much these sinners, they, all they want you to do, I'm going to do it right here, I'm going to show you. All they want you to do is use this. They, they use that. Do you have that? We don't even take cash. You're a sinner. Now, I don't care how much they say all they have is, is, is cars. I'm going I'm to carry, carry, carry some paper. I'm carrying paper. I'm carrying paper. Number one, I don't ever want to be in a situation where they try to shut me off. And if you're dependent on this, it's, it's electric. They can cut you off. But they, they can cut that off. Do you hear it? I want you to hear that. All right, a couple more. Yes. I'm, I'm buying time to see if they can find it. All right, yes. Both. Oh, sorry. Don't sow a seed without the lead of the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit help you. Just like sharing the gospel. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Don't go to share the gospel to everybody. He said don't cast your pearls among swine. So you can't just automatically, I'm going to just sow everywhere. You, you, you got to be led. You're, you're sur I'm surgical with this. See, I listen to the Holy Spirit, and he's showing me exactly where to go and what to do. Okay, same. Pastor, I heard you say, a money cometh demonstrator cannot run out of money. Amen. Even if I sow, even if I empty my pocket, I can't go down. All right? Yes. Pastor, I heard you say refuse to compare yourself with others because everyone is are on different levels. Don't be disappointed. Don't be brokenhearted. Don't, don't be salty. 
Because then you're going to believe the seed you have sown is not working. The devil wins. My seed works. My, that, when I sow, it works. When I, when I sow, God sees it. Okay. Pastor, I heard you say money cometh. Revelation is stronger than any financial issue I'm dealing with. Money cometh. Revelation is stronger than any financial situation. All right? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. Uh, Pastor, I heard you say don't live a shitty life. <laughs> I did say that. I did say that. I did say it several times. I sure did. All right. Pastor, I heard you say when sowing, remove the emotions, pray for understanding, revelation, instruction, receive that, and agree to obey it. Then release your seed and add your emotions back see, in. See, this is good advice for anything. The minute y'all see that uh, now if it's a white person, what they call a white person, killed by a black person, they'll say, a motorist ran over a pedestrian. But if the driver is a Caucasian, they'll say Caucasian man ran over a black pedestrian. See, they're going to put that in there because they know it's going to get you uptight. What you have to do is remove yourself. But back out, get the emotion out. And then say, it's tragic that anybody got hit by a car. Black, the color doesn't matter. But you get upset that it was a black person that got hurt. You should be upset that it, for anybody to get hurt. Christ would care. See? So you got to get your emotion out of it until it's time to mix it back in. Okay? Name something you put in a cake. Flowers. Eggs. Do anybody just want to eat nine eggs just, just, just with a spoon, just eat them? No. Anybody want to just, just, just take down a cup of sugar or a cup of flour? No, but, but mixed, with, mixed in, it, it works. But by itself, this is what I'm saying to you about your emotions. By itself, your emotions are sorry. But mixed in with revelation and with faith, your faith and God's faithfulness, your emotion will take care of you somewhere. Hallelujah. All right. I, okay. Anybody else? Yes, one more over here. Two more. Pastor, I heard you say, so keep sowing and increase your sowing. All right, there you go. I like it. Yes. Pastor, I heard you say, successful sowers sow with confidence. They refuse not to sow, and they refuse to sow like a coward. All right, glory to God. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know what else we could do tonight. <laughs> you got one more? Okay. Pastor, I heard you say, a sower can never be shut down. The worst news you get, find a seed is on. Just, oh, this is not going to work out good. Where's my checkbook? Where, where's the seed? I, yes. Yeah, I, Pastor, I heard you say, have to choose between labor or favor. You're a daughter for sure. All right, you got it? Let's give God thanksgiving and praise. We're going to get ready to dismiss you in a moment. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Glory to God. As long as you have this, the Lord's going to switch you from a credit card to a debit card. All right? Just see him switching you from a credit card to a debit card. In other words, you're not borrowing. If you're spending, you just spend it. And you're so flush, smoke is coming off the car. Ooh, it's too hot. Ooh. <laughs> I know you can't see it. What? They have it? Audio. Be seated. Now, I'm going to hold you a little extra, but I want you to hear this. All right? I don't think it's more than seven or eight minutes, but I want you to hear it. It's 10. It's all right, because I want you to hear it. I want Faith Stadium. Do not stop streaming. All right? Ready? Go. Prophetic word before we received the offering. Didn't I? All right. I'm going to give it to you. Don't write no checks. Don't pull out no dollars. Let's get away from this dollar mentality. 
Now listen to me. I went to the supermarket one morning, early one morning, to get some oranges for my wife. And in the line, there was this gentleman ahead of me with, a, I guess, a six, six pack of beer. Listen closely. He paid for those beer, pulled out his wallet, he paid for those beer, and I, they gave him about three dollars back. And uh, I was right behind him. I saw when he opened his wallet, his wallet was empty. And he put those $3 back into his wallet. Closed his wallet, put it in his pocket, turned around and looked at me. And he said these words. Now listen closely. Money goes. Money really goes. No, will leave you. Money goes. And I said, uh, yeah. I paid for my orange and I got in the car. When I got in the car, God was in the car. And he said to me, see, God had blessed me. He said, what did you say in that store? I said, Lord, I repent in Jesus' name. I repent. Now watch this now. Watch. These are the two words. In it. I said, Lord, I repent in Jesus' name. And out of here, I heard these two words. Money cometh. Watch now. Wait. Listen. 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 I want you to get it. Because it's not coming out of my head. I think these words was for the body of Christ. So I, I, you know, I said, money come in. And I went to church Sunday morning. I had my assistant pastor, uh, assistant minister, doing the announcement and receiving the offering. And all of a sudden, the Spirit of the Lord came up me and I stood up. And it was quite natural when I stood up, he, he held up. Because I'm the shepherd. Right? That's the way it's supposed to be. Some of you assistant, assistant ministers better listen. I stood up and I said, I want to share this with the congregation. I shared the same thing I shared with you. Before I finished, a man jumped up and went to my wife. Matter of fact, that man is here today. He jumped up. Matter of fact, I'm going to have to expose him today. I, I thought I could keep it hid, but I'm going to have to. Stand up, Larry. I, I, stand up. That man right there. He here, here bear witness. Him and his wife. Your wife here? Yeah, stand up. They're bear witness to it. When I told him this same story I told you and spoke the word, money coming, he went over to my wife and said, when Pastor first walked through the door, the Lord had told me to give him $500. When he spoke, money coming, the Lord reminded me to do what he told me to do. And instantly he wrote that $500 check out and gave it to me. Not all. I was in Los Angeles, California. Then we're going to receive. I'm going to have you to say that. I'm going to have you to break all that mentality about your finances, about what you don't have. And we're going to have the biggest supernatural offering in this 2 o'clock service ever been in camp meeting. And you're going to give it. If you want the blessing, you're going to have to give it. I don't, re I don't raise offering. I just receive offering. And they're supernatural. And this is the third one I received in my whole lifetime of ministry on this basis. Now I receive offering in, in my church. But I'm going to tell me about receiving. I come here to receive an offering. I come here to preach. You receive it. I was in California, a man run and grabbed me, and I'm saying it all the time, money coming, come from here. Say it. Money coming. Say it again. Money coming. You sense that? Say it again. Money coming. You sense it? Yeah. Say it again. Money coming. Say it again. Now listen, it's not for your covetousness. It's not for you to get things. It's for you to bless the kingdom of God and all your things will be added to you. Say it again. Money, Money what? Come it. Come it. This guy from Ohio run me down. Hey, hey, hey. I said, yes, yeah, sir. He said, uh, me and my wife just won't bless you. I said, that sounds like the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Gave me an envelope. Opened it up when I got in the hotel room, $500. He out of Ohio. I'm from Louisiana. I had my hand up in the service, praising God. And I felt somebody, you know, right close to me. And there was a fella. He said, he, he caught my hand in praise and worship. And I opened my hand. That was $100. Money coming. But you know what I do with it? I put it back in the kingdom of God. But you know, it always got extra left for me to be blessed. How many of you all believe that word is from the Lord? From the Say Lord. it again. Money coming. How many agree with me this would be one of the biggest offerings in the 2 o'clock service? How many going to help it be the biggest offering? All right, honey, give me a check and put some zeros on it. 
That's right. Amen. Me and my wife believe in it. And we're going to give, we're going to give a big check out this week. We believe in this ministry. I believe in Brother Hagin. Just tell you the truth about the whole matter. I believe in Kenneth Hagin. I tell you, he got a track record all these years. You don't find that every day. And it's a combination of the word and the spirit. He shouldn't have to worry about no budget. Ken Jr. shouldn't be worried about no budget. We should go ahead and take care of the budget. How many of y'all believe that? So we're going to, the biggest offering at a two o'clock service is today. So get your checks ready. Make it out to Kenneth Hagin ministry. Dig deep. Say it again. Money coming. And I want you to look at your offering when you get it out. Everybody give something. Give, give everybody something. If who don't have something, hold your hand up your neighbor give you something. Everybody in on it. Because I'm giving you these two words. I want everybody to get in on it. Now if your neighbor don't have something, you give them something. Say it again. Money coming. Money do what? Coming. Not goes. Coming. Y'all got it? What? What you got? Money coming. All the ladies. All right, men, don't let them out do you. All the men. All right. Everybody. You got to say it out of here. If you need an envelope, lift your hand quickly. We're going to receive this afternoon offering. And it's going to be the biggest offering ever was on a tour. I don't care how many people you don't, don't See, don't, I told you, you can't operate in the senses when you're operating in the spirit. Do you know a person you can pick up when you're thinking something, when they're when they flowing in the Holy Ghost? Had a lady sitting way in the back of the church one time, and I said, don't say that anymore, and I told her what she said. And don't take all the evening to do it. We out of here. Somebody gonna come relieve me. Somebody gonna let me. I'm the, I'm the man. After the offering. What else I gotta do after the offering? That's it? Preach. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I would like to. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm not through. Glory to God. <laughs> Woo! Glory to God. Did y'all get blessed over here? Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Everybody ready with the offering? Yeah. Hold it up. What you gonna say? Money. You know the supernatural something. Get that, get that check up here, honey. I need to have something too. That, 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 that's something, you know. We say money coming, but we're giving money. That's, you know. They say money coming, but we're giving money. That's the way money comes. There's my trail. So Wave your hand, boy. You're getting the opportunity of your life. Wave. <laughs> All right. All right. That's good. I, I want you to hear that. Uh, it won't be the last time you hear it. That, that's so much, uh, so much in that right there, that, those 10 minutes. And uh, I want to get that in you. I want to get it in your soul uh, because that's the way that revelation would get there. And I wasn't intending to do that, but I had to get that to play that, re that uh, replay for you. Because I know, that's right, money cometh. Either money cometh, I'll never be broke another day in my life, or hallelujah. One of the three, when you give. All right, when you're giving, you can stand. Man, I don't want to be disrespectful. I would like to pull one time. I sure would like to pull one time. Oh, come take this away. Y'all put this up here and I'll, I'll, I'll use it. I'm trying not, not, trying not to use it. I know you're being thoughtful. Has it been up here the whole time? Okay, yeah. I, I don't need it unless I call for it. All right, let's go. We'll do it. With emotion. With gusto. With gumption. Money coming to me now. Hallelujah. All right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We, we're doing three? All right, we'll do three. I, I, I'm my father's son. I, I, I can do it. Money 
coming to me now. Snatching it. Snatching it. All right, and you know the third one, you just, you just empty the bucket, let it all go, act like it's true, act like it happened, act like every bill is gone, every debt is gone, every mortgage, just, just act like it. All right, ready? Shout glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs>